Have you ever wondered how doctors can see what's happening inside your body without surgery? The answer lies in a remarkable piece of technology called the Gamma Camera. This medical imaging device detects and visualizes gamma radiation emitted by radioactive substances introduced into the body. It's a cornerstone of nuclear medicine, providing crucial insights into the body's internal processes. Firstly, the gamma camera finds its primary application in nuclear medicine imaging. It captures images of the distribution and behavior of radioactive tracers within the body. These tracers are often attached to specific molecules, allowing doctors to study the functioning of organs and tissues at a molecular level. Moving on to the heart, gamma cameras are frequently employed in cardiac imaging, specifically myocardial perfusion imaging. Here, a radioactive tracer is injected into the bloodstream with the gamma camera capturing images that reveal areas of reduced blood flow, indicating potential issues such as ischemia or infarction. Another important application of gamma cameras is bone scintigraphy. In this context, radioactive traces introduced into the bloodstream accumulate in areas of increased bone turnover or pathology, aiding in the identification of fractures, infections, or tumors. In the realm of thyroid health, gamma cameras visualize the thyroid gland by administering radioactive iodine, assisting in diagnosing thyroid disorders such as hypothyroidism, hypothyroidism, and the presence of thyroid nodules. When it comes to the kidneys, renal scintigraphy uses a gamma camera to assess the structure and function of these vital organs. The camera captures images to evaluate factors such as renal blood flow, filtration, and excretion. In cancer surgeries, a gamma camera is utilized for sentinel lymph node mapping. The camera helps identify the first lymph nodes that receive drainage from the tumor site, information that is crucial for cancer staging and treatment planning. Gamma cameras also play a role in gastrointestinal studies. For instance, in gastric emptying scans, a radioactive tracer is introduced into ingested substances, and the camera monitors the movement and function of the digestive system. For detecting sites of infection or inflammation, gamma cameras are employed in imaging procedures. Radioactive tracers that accumulate at infection sites help visualize areas of increased metabolic activity. Lastly, in neurological studies, including brain imaging, gamma cameras are utilized. Tracers can be used to evaluate cerebral blood flow and assess brain disorders. Working with a gamma camera requires specialized training and adherence to safety protocols due to the use of radioactive materials. The operation involves the preparation and administration of radioactive tracers, imaging procedures, and data interpretation. Here's a general guide on how to work with and use a gamma camera. 1. Education and training. Obtain the necessary education and training in nuclear medicine technology. This often involves completing a formal education program and gaining practical experience under the supervision of a qualified nuclear medicine professional. 1. Radiation safety training. Undergo specific radiation safety training to understand the principles of radiation protection, including the use of personal protective equipment, PPE, minimizing radiation exposure, and following safety guidelines. 1. Patient preparation. Ensure proper patient preparation for the specific nuclear medicine procedure. This may involve explaining the procedure to the patient, obtaining informed consent, and providing instructions related to dietary restrictions or medication adjustments. 1. Radiopharmaceutical administration. Administer the radioactive tracer, radiopharmaceutical, to the patient. The choice of tracer depends on the type of imaging study being performed. Follow established protocols for tracer administration, including dose calculation and injection techniques. One. Imaging Procedure 
position the patient appropriately for the specific imaging study. The gamma camera is then positioned to capture images of the distribution of the radioactive tracer in the body. Multiple images are acquired over time to observe the tracer's behavior. 1. Instrument calibration. Ensure proper calibration of the gamma camera before each imaging session. Regular calibration checks help maintain the accuracy and reliability of the imaging system. 1. Data acquisition. Collect data during the imaging procedure. The gamma camera detects gamma rays emitted by the radioactive tracer and the data is used to create images reflecting the tracer's distribution in the body. 1. Image processing. Process the acquired images using specialized software. This may involve adjusting image parameters, filtering, and enhancing image quality for interpretation. 1. Quality control checks. Perform routine quality control checks on the gamma camera to ensure proper functioning. This includes checks on spatial resolution, energy resolution, and detector uniformity. 1. Collaboration with healthcare team. Collaborate with other healthcare professionals including radiologists and referring physicians to interpret the imaging results and contribute to patient diagnosis and management. 1. Interpretation and reporting. Analyze the images and provide an interpretation of the findings. Generate a comprehensive report for the referring physician detailing the observed patterns and abnormalities in the distribution of the radioactive tracer. 1. Post-imaging patient care. Provide appropriate post-imaging care to the patient. This may include monitoring for any adverse reactions, addressing patient concerns, and following up as needed. 1. Continuous learning. Stay informed about advancements in nuclear medicine technology and imaging techniques. Participate in continuing education programs to enhance skills and knowledge. It's crucial to note that working with a gamma camera requires compliance with regulatory guidelines and local laws governing the use of radioactive materials in medical imaging. Only licensed and certified individuals, such as nuclear medicine technologists, should operate gamma cameras, ensuring the safety of both patients and healthcare professionals. The working principle of a gamma camera involves the detection and imaging of gamma rays emitted by radioactive substances radiopharmaceuticals introduced into the body. Gamma cameras are commonly used in nuclear medicine for diagnostic imaging. Here's a simplified explanation of the key components and steps in the working of a gamma camera. Gamma ray. Emission. A patient is administered a radiopharmaceutical which emits gamma rays as it undergoes radioactive decay. The radiopharmaceutical is typically designed to target specific organs or tissues, allowing for the visualization of their functional and metabolic activities. Gamma Camera Components The gamma camera consists of a gamma ray detector, a collimator, and a scintillation crystal. The scintillation crystal is often made of sodium iodide or cesium iodide and emits flashes of light when gamma rays interact with it. Collimator the collimator is a lead-lined device with a series of holes or channels that allow only gamma rays traveling in a specific direction to reach the scintillation crystal. This helps focus the detected gamma rays and prevents interference from scattered radiation. Gamma ray detection. When gamma rays from the radiopharmaceutical interact with the scintillation crystal, the crystal emits flashes of light, scintillations. The number of scintillations is proportional to the energy of the incident gamma ray. Photomultiplier tubes. Photomultiplier tubes, PMTs, are positioned around the scintillation crystal to detect the scintillation light. Each PMT is responsible for converting the light signals into electrical signals, amplifying them, and sending them to the gamma camera's electronics. Signal processing. The electrical signals from the PMTs are processed by the gamma camera's electronics. The position and intensity of each scintillation event are determined based on the signals received from the PMTs. Image reconstruction. The processed signals 
are used to reconstruct an image of the distribution of the radiopharmaceutical within the patient's body. Each point in the image represents an area where gamma rays were detected, providing a map of the trace's concentration. Time synchronization. To capture dynamic processes such as blood flow or organ function, the gamma camera is often synchronized with the patient's physiological activities. This allows for the acquisition of images at specific time intervals, creating a dynamic sequence. Image display. The reconstructed images are displayed on a monitor for interpretation by radiologists or nuclear medicine specialists. These images reveal the functional and metabolic information of the targeted organs or tissues. Quantitative analysis. Gamma camera images can be quantitatively analyzed to measure the concentration of the radiopharmaceutical in specific regions of interest. This quantitative data aids in diagnosing and monitoring various medical conditions. The gamma camera's ability to capture functional information about internal processes makes it valuable for a wide range of applications in nuclear medicine, including cardiac studies, bone scans, thyroid imaging, and more. It's important to note that gamma cameras use low doses of radiation and their operation is governed by strict safety protocols to ensure patient and staff safety. Benefits of Gamma Cameras Functional Imaging Gamma cameras provide functional imaging, allowing healthcare professionals to visualize the physiological and metabolic activities of organs and tissues. This is especially valuable in nuclear medicine for diagnosing various conditions. Early Disease Detection Gamma cameras assist in the early detection of diseases and abnormalities at a molecular level. This enables healthcare providers to identify conditions before they manifest as structural changes visible through other imaging modalities. Customizable imaging. Gamma cameras offer versatility in imaging different organs and systems. They can be tailored to specific imaging protocols making them suitable for a wide range of applications, including cardiac studies, bone scans, and thyroid imaging. Non-invasiveness. Gamma camera procedures are generally non-invasive. Patients receive a radioactive tracer and the imaging process doesn't involve surgical procedures. This reduces the risk of complications associated with invasive diagnostic techniques. Quantitative analysis. Gamma camera images can be quantitatively analyzed, providing precise measurements of radiopharmaceutical concentration in specific areas. This quantitative information aids in the diagnosis, staging, and monitoring of diseases. Dynamic imaging. Gamma cameras can capture dynamic processes, such as blood flow or organ function, by acquiring images at specific time intervals. This dynamic imaging capability enhances the understanding of physiological processes. Treatment Planning Gamma camera imaging is valuable in treatment planning, particularly in radiation therapy. It helps in localizing tumors, determining the extent of disease, and guiding the delivery of therapeutic radiation doses. Sentinel Lymph Node Mapping Gamma cameras are used in sentinel lymph node mapping during certain cancer surgeries. This helps surgeons identify the first lymph nodes that receive drainage from the tumor, aiding in cancer staging and treatment decisions. Risks and considerations. Radiation exposure. The primary risk associated with gamma cameras is the exposure to ionizing radiation. However, the radiation doses used in diagnostic nuclear medicine procedures are generally low and the benefits of obtaining diagnostic information often outweigh the associated risks. Pregnancy considerations. Special consideration is given to pregnant women as radiation exposure can pose risks to the developing fetus. Healthcare providers carefully assess the necessity of gamma camera procedures in pregnant patients and take appropriate precautions. Allergic reactions. Some patients may experience allergic reactions to the radiopharmaceuticals used in gamma camera imaging. However, such reactions are rare and healthcare providers are prepared 
to manage any adverse events. Limited anatomical detail, gamma camera images provide functional information but may lack the anatomical detail offered by other imaging modalities such as computed tomography CT or magnetic resonance imaging MRI. Combining gamma camera images with anatomical imaging may be necessary in some cases. Complexity of interpretation. Interpreting gamma camera images requires expertise in nuclear medicine, the condition, exposure and other risks. Healthcare providers carefully assess each case, considering the potential benefits of gamma camera imaging in the context of the patient's overall health and medical history. Patients are encouraged to discuss any concerns with their healthcare providers for personalized information and guidance. Troubleshooting gamma cameras involves identifying and addressing issues that may affect the performance of the imaging system. Gamma cameras are complex devices and problems may arise from various sources. Here are common troubleshooting steps. Error messages and alerts. Check for any error messages or alerts displayed on the gamma camera's console or control panel. Error messages often provide valuable information about the nature of the problem. Power supply and connections. Ensure that the gamma camera is properly connected to a stable power supply. Check for loose power cables, connections and any tripped circuit breakers. Power issues can affect the functionality of the system. Radiopharmaceutical issues. Verify that the radiopharmaceutical is administered correctly and is of the appropriate quality. Issues with the radiopharmaceutical, such as improper dosage or contamination, can impact image quality. Collimator alignment. Check the alignment of the collimator, which is crucial for focusing the gamma rays onto the scintillation crystal. Misalignment can lead to distorted or inaccurate images. Perform collimator quality control checks as part of routine maintenance. Scintillation, crystal and photomultiplier tubes. Inspect the scintillation crystal for any damage or defects. Additionally, check the photomultiplier tubes, PMTs, for proper functioning. Malfunctioning PMTs can affect the detection of scintillation events and image quality. Calibration checks. Perform regular calibration checks to ensure that the gamma camera is calibrated accurately. Calibrate the system according to the manufacturer's recommendations to maintain optimal performance. Image quality issues. If there are issues with image quality such as artifacts, poor resolution or abnormal patterns, investigate the possible causes. This may involve checking for mechanical issues, optimizing image acquisition parameters, or adjusting collimator settings. Computer and software. Examine the gamma camera's computer system and software for any malfunctions. Software glitches or hardware issues can impact data acquisition, processing, and image reconstruction. Keep software up to date with the latest updates provided by the manufacturer. Environmental factors. Consider environmental factors that may affect gamma camera performance such as ambient temperature, humidity and electromagnetic interference. Ensure that the gamma camera is operating within the recommended environmental conditions. Quality control procedures. Follow established quality control procedures as part of routine maintenance. This includes daily, weekly and monthly checks to assess system performance detector uniformity and energy resolution. Radiation safety measures. Ensure that radiation safety measures are in place and functioning properly. This includes verifying the integrity of lead shielding and compliance with safety guidelines to protect both patients and healthcare professionals. Technical support. If troubleshooting efforts do not resolve the issue, contact the manufacturer's technical support or a certified service engineer. Manufacturers often provide support for diagnosing and addressing technical problems. Regular preventive maintenance, adherence to quality control procedures, 
and prompt resolution of issues are essential for ensuring the reliable performance of gamma cameras in clinical settings. Only qualified personnel, such as nuclear medicine technologists or service engineers, should perform troubleshooting and maintenance tasks on gamma cameras. A nuclear scan uses an injected gamma ray emitting substance that accumulates in the organ of interest, and a special camera records the gamma rays. A CT scan is usually a series of X-rays taken from different directions that are then assembled into a three-dimensional model of the subject in a computer. The price range for a nuclear gamma camera varies depending on the manufacturer and model. Most nuclear gamma cameras range from $50,000 to $500,000. Major manufacturers of nuclear gamma cameras include Siemens, GE Healthcare and Philips. One major use is in finding cancer and assessing the stage and extent of it. It is also used to assess issues with the thyroid gland and the bones. The subjective experience of claustrophobia was relatively low. 10.9% for the discovery and 11.6% for the Veriton CT. The nuclear imaging technologists are experts in strategies to reassure patients and guide them comfortably through the scan as much as possible. RS Abdiwaluyo's Gamma Camera Myocardial perfusion imaging is a safe, non-invasive procedure using a small amount of radioactive material to create images of the internal organ of your body. In this case, the heart. Are there any risks? Nuclear medicine scanning involves the use of radioisotopes and so has the usual risks associated with ionizing radiation. We are all exposed to radiation naturally, background radiation. The amount of radiation you receive depends on the examination being performed. In summary, the gamma camera provides valuable functional information about the body's internal processes enabling doctors to diagnose and monitor various medical conditions. It's important to stress that the use of radioactive tracers involves minimal radiation exposure and the benefits of the diagnostic information obtained typically outweigh the associated risks. Procedures involving gamma cameras are performed under strict safety protocols to ensure patient and staff safety. Indeed, the gamma camera is a remarkable tool in the arsenal of modern medicine.